is from the from Airbnb. She is the vice president of infrastructure engineering, and they really provide a lot of the technical foundation for product development. Her team works on data platform, cloud infrastructure, the developer platform, search infrastructure, and reliability engineering. Her teams produce and maintain end-to-end -end data offerings for customers and really operate the whole cloud environment that powers Airbnb, um, plus much of the backend systems that power recommendations and um, help developers really build, test, and deploy their code. So many different facets in this role. Prior to Airbnb, Kamini spent six years at LinkedIn, where she was leading the infrastructure and productivity engineering teams for its flagship website and apps. And to complement her functional role, Kamini also champions diversity and belonging in the workplace and also was a co-sponsor for Airbnb's Tech Diversity Council. So with all that said, Kamini, welcome to the stage. Hello. Hi, thank you so much for the introduction and super thrilled to be here before all of you today. We are so happy to have you here and I will give you the stage right away and meet you back with some Q&A time. Excellent. Um, and I'm here today to share my uh, personal and professional journey because uh, it does culminate in how I show up at both the workplace and outside the workplace. Um, and to start it, it all uh, began even before I was born. We are uh, three girls in our family and I am the youngest. Before I was born, um, several people told my parents that if the third happened to be a girl, it will be a huge burden to the family. And uh, believe it or not, I happen to be a girl as well. So my parents cried when I was born and that's what I was told. Make no mistake, they were definitely not tears of joy. They were worried that um, it may cost a fortune uh, to marry off daughters um, and hearing the skepticism and the input from others really made them worried. Despite these odds, my parents really took it upon themselves and uh, they challenged themselves and challenged us, invested heavily in our education. Um, I'm very, very grateful for everything that my parents have done, without which I don't think I will be here on stage before all of you. Um, moving on, at high school, for those of you who grew up in India at least a few years ago, around my times, there weren't too many options that uh, we were asked to choose. So it was either be a doctor or an engineer. So all along, uh, up until high school, I was thinking maybe uh, I am going to pursue medicine. And um, during my junior year, I had to dissect a frog. And at that moment, um, I freaked out. I caused a huge uh, scene uh, in my school. I still vividly remember that day. And um, I would say my choice became very clear. I knew I would not pursue uh, uh, medicine or be a doctor, and that was not my cup of tea. So obviously, the other option that was uh, left was to pursue engineering. So it was not a very planned, deliberate move that I liked this and this is what I wanted to pursue and go after. I um, did um, engineering in electronics and communication. And while I was pursuing my undergrad, um, there was a, a professor um, who uh, taught us microprocessors. And he asked us to simulate uh, traffic lights. So the reason I'm sharing this is because uh, my tech origin story revolved around these frogs and traffic lights. Honestly, the frog and the dissection caused me to jump to engineering. And I just started pursuing it uh, without really knowing whether I would enjoy it and whether I would choose that as my profession and uh, career long term. But the microprocessor professor asked us to simulate traffic lights um, and I was really intrigued. I thought this is a, a good uh, real time application of what we learn in software engineering put to practical use. And that I would say really opened up my eyes. 
And it was the beginning of my uh, tech career and there was no going back since then. So after I pursued my undergraduation, um, I came to the US to pursue my uh, master's in computer science. Um, again, I don't think it was something that I had completely planned out for. It was not like I wanted to come to US. I, I know some folks had that as a dream and aspiration, but neither was I for it, nor was I against it. My dad, again, wanted at least one of the three girls to um, have some external exposure. He thought it would make us more well-rounded and obviously for economic reasons as well. My older sister already had a family by then, so she decided uh, to stay uh, in India. My second sister uh, was very hesitant and wouldn't want to pursue something. So then uh, when my dad asked me if I would be interested in pursuing something, uh, uh, my master's in uh, the US, I thought, why not? Uh, and that's how I landed in the US. Again, it was a very steep uh, learning curve for me, uh, just a contrast on uh, many different fronts between India and the US. Uh, just starting from the weather, I grew up in a place, tropical climate, high 90s in the hundreds uh, throughout the year. And then coming, I moved to Chicago. You can see the other extreme in terms of climate. So that was uh, something that was very harsh, number one. Secondly, um, I had to work part-time um, so that I could get financial aid to cover my uh, college expenses. Um, studying and then working part-time was again something new. I had to learn to be more responsible, plan my time better, uh, plan my own um, finances. Um, and that again was a very, very different exposure. And lastly, um, just adjusting in a different place with roommates, um, trying to be flexible, trying to adapt was all very new to me because up until then, I was sort of isolated in my own bubble uh, in a very familiar um, condition and climate where I was so used to and it was my comfort zone. So this was completely outside of my comfort zone. Uh, Nevertheless, looking back at it, I feel good that uh, I was able to graduate successfully. I got my master's. Uh, and then, um, thankfully, it was the internet boom. I came for a job fair uh, in Silicon Valley and um, happened to get a job as a fresh grad. So the first two years uh, after I graduated, I, things were all hunky-dory, started earning money, really felt like I started to realize the uh, American dream, uh, became more independent, got a car, um, and I was actually doing well at work uh, too. My boss and I had a good rapport. So I was really thinking what could go wrong. This is uh, a beginning of an upward trajectory. And uh, of course, it's not just within you or your micro environment. We had the 9-11 terrorist attack and that caused um, a big change in the macro environment, as um, some of you may have realized who were at least worked during that time. There were huge, massive uh, layoffs and reduction in workforce uh, all around. Um, I was not spared either. Uh, I was an immigrant at that point of time, and I uh, lost my job. I had around 60 days, I think, I believe at that point of time to either find a job or had to go back to India. And I did end up uh, going to India because at that time there weren't many companies that were uh, hiring. And not alone that, nobody was willing to sponsor um, uh, a H-1B or an uh, immigrant visa uh, for uh, me. So ended up returning to India, um, got married, came back on a dependent visa. And uh, again, a lot of skepticism uh, when it came to a friend and family circle. Hey, in this climate, especially it was, I believe, Christmas uh, time around uh, 2002, uh, very, very few companies were hiring and there was no chance for me to be on a dependent visa to get a job. Um, somehow I didn't uh, lose hope. Uh, my husband was very encouraging. 
and I happened to find an ad um, where eBay was uh, to open host an open house. I ended up going there. It was such a long line, and I happened to be the last batch of people, and they shut the door. Uh, thankfully, I had to uh, the opportunity to meet a couple of hiring managers. I got the job. Uh, my first big uh, company that I worked for was eBay, and uh, I was there for more than ten years. I grew from an uh, engineer to a director, pursued many different roles, and very, very thankful for the opportunity. And uh, that is honestly a reason why I am uh, sharing uh, every step of my professional journey. From an outward appearance, um, it may look like I have worked in top tech brands. I've been able to climb the corporate ladder successfully. And I'm honestly very, very thankful um, and humbled at the opportunities that were thrown my way and for where I am today. But I can definitely tell you the journey wasn't easy, which is why I want to share this story. After um, eBay, I um, got an opportunity at LinkedIn. Um, again, between eBay and LinkedIn, LinkedIn was the first social networking um, website and um, exposure that I had. Uh, there was a, quite a contrast in terms of the, the culture, the pace at which the company operated, the leadership style and the philosophies. So it took me uh, some time to adapt to the new climate. Um, and now my, after LinkedIn, my next stop was again at Airbnb. I would say over the course of time, uh, maybe you can say I'm aging or I got wise. I am being more deliberate in the choices. And I feel very, very fortunate that uh, I'm part of the Airbnb leadership team now, working on things which are extremely crucial for the technology teams as well as for the overall company, but also being able to come in and foster a culture so that everybody can uh, bring their best selves to work. So for me, uh, my journey definitely had a lot of peaks and valleys. Um, and I, if I try to uh, look back and reflect on it, um, I feel I've come a long way. And there are several aspects of my identity, um, being a female leader, being an immigrant, being an Asian, um, truly served to my advantage in how I navigated the corporate ladder here in the US. And um, here I am today. So I'm uh, happy to answer any questions that uh, you might have in terms of sharing my own experiences, whether it's successes or uh, opportunities uh, that I learned from. Great. And thank you so much, Community, for sharing this part of your story. Many people with lots of exclamation points saying they loved your journey and your resilience along the way. Um, so let's jump into a few questions. You mentioned moving a few times in your life, different cities, different countries even. Are there certain skills that you developed or that you that you took most from doing these moves? And also, do you recommend that people move cities in their lifetime? Great question. Um, what did I learn by through these moments? One thing I would say is uh, trying to be resilient. It's very easy to give up, right? Um, not obviously when you move from one place to another there are going to be things which are uncomfortable which uh, where you get those butterflies in the stomach either it's the people you're meeting or it's the place or it's the environment around you uh, it is going to make you uncomfortable but whenever there is discomfort i'm sure we'll come out uh, stronger in the other end so um, being able to adapt and uh, Having the grit and being resilient, I would say, is the, the recipe uh, for success. And would I recommend? I would say absolutely yes. So uh, the way we have raised our kids, like even before they uh, were one year, we take them all over just so they can understand and appreciate uh, different cultures, different perspectives. And I think it definitely makes us more well-rounded. Thank you so much, because I, I think that's a common question, right? We have these opportunities, but it's a different city. And so, so great to hear that you think it's well worth it. Um, OK, I have another question for you. When you started at eBay, you mentioned that you ended up being there 10 years. Would you have thought that you would stay that long when you started? 
I'm giving you these a bunch of two part questions here. So would you, would you thought you would stay that long? And do you recommend staying versus moving to get promotions? Because I think a lot of times we think we need to go to a different company. So speak to that a little bit for us. Sure. Um, so again, from the startup experience where I got laid off, I honestly didn't think I'll have such a long stint at eBay. I'm like, you never know. I faced the worst. I had to be deported. I had to go to India. Um, so that, that was one. So obviously didn't have the mindset. And being in the Silicon Valley, I think four years is considered as like the top max uh, on an average uh, for people to stay within one company. Yes, it is true that as you navigate or jump ship, you do get a promotion in some form or fashion. Either it could be comp or a better opportunity or a better title. At eBay, um, I was really fortunate, even though I was there in the company for 10 plus years, I pursued many, many different roles within the tech organization itself. So I was not stuck to the same team. Every two years, I had a move in some form or fashion, either a promo upgrade or took on things laterally, did things which I had not done before. So I had equipped myself. And I think that is what we need to be focusing on. It's okay if you are within the same company, as long as you continue to diversify your portfolio, strengthen your portfolio and equip yourself so that you are very sellable at the time you start pursuing opportunities outside. That makes a lot of sense. And I think, again, advice that many of us can actually kind of dig into um, as we're expanding our careers and our horizons um, here today. So this is perfect timing. We're right on the dot. Kamini, you have very beautiful, concise answers. I feel like I could keep asking you questions all day long. And we had, yes, there's a great comment popping up on screen here. People are saying we need a documentary of your life to show this journey and kind of the hurdles that you've been through. So, so thank you so much for sharing that with us today. And uh, we really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much uh, for the opportunity. And I would uh, love to touch base with anyone who might uh, want to uh, interact with me. I'm sure that people will take you up on that and find you on LinkedIn or elsewhere. So um, have a great rest of the event today. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you.